All right, today we're talking about the incredible potential of the human heart and what we're learning about the heart. I've mentioned in a couple videos, electricity changed our outside world once we learned how to harness it. And I think the same is true for the heart. When we learn how to harness the power and potential of the heart and really what it is, which is our sixth sense, maybe our first sense, um, it's going to change everything that we do as human beings in this world. Um, just think about it. Whenever someone walks into the room that's having a bad day, you can feel that. That's your heart electromagnetic frequency. Um, we already are now being able to measure your heart electromagnetic frequency outside the body up to three feet. Um, it's pretty incredible what the heart does, especially if you uh, know or look into the law of attraction or manifestation. It's about brain and heart coherence. You have to feel as though what you want in life, you already have. That is the law of attraction, okay? Um, not living with the feeling of lack, but living with the feeling of you already have. Because the side effect of living with that emotional frequency from your heart, as though you already have, you already loved, you already grateful, is you no longer want anything. You just want to give and help others. And I think this 10-year um, uh, kind of study really illustrates the power of the heart and really what we kind of don't truly understand about the heart. So we're going to get into it because this is just an incredible... Um, study just to know about and just to be able to understand and just have inside your noggin there. So um, we have the heart transplant. Here are the authors of the study. There's three of them, Paul, uh, Paul Parasol, Gary Schwartz, and Linda Russick. That way you can look it up yourself. Um, this was done over a 10-year period. It wasn't like a specific study. Um, they just, you know, had lots of heart transplant patients over the course of 10 years. They interviewed all of them. And what made this special is that they interviewed the friends and family members of both the donor and the recipient to get their perspective on whether there was any personality changes. And that's what we're looking at is what happened to these people after they got a new heart from someone else. Did they change in any way at all? So out of 74 patients, they published a paper here that had 10 incredible stories. I'm gonna break them down real quick because I think they're all important and I'll put on the um, the main screen kind of the, the main information. But basically what you see on this board, um, the number 18, M stands for male, that went to an 18 year old female. So 14 year old female went to a 47 year old male. So without further ado, we're just gonna quickly run through it and just kind of give you the power of the heart um, and really what the study shows is that cellular memory and energy um, is able to exist after the physical death, which is pretty incredible. So the first one, an 18 year old male, his heart went to an 18 year old female. This one's pretty crazy because the female, um, or excuse me, the parents, after they went through the male's um, you know, poems and things that he wrote down, he wrote a song called Danny uh, my heart is yours. He was a musician. Ends up being this girl's name is Danielle. Um, and then she, after this heart transplant, gets the personality of a singer and songwriter and gets guitar lessons, um, which is pretty crazy. Here we have a, a little baby boy, one year and a half, who gave his heart to a, uh, a half-year-old boy. And this one was pretty crazy because when they went to go meet the father of the now deceased boy, this little baby walked right up to him in a random crowd and knew exactly who it was and said, hey dad, uh, hey dad da, um, which is pretty mind blowing. Um, our third account, a 24 year old female, her heart goes to a 26 year old male. Um, this one's pretty crazy because um, the girlfriend of the male says that he starts to understand the girl anatomy way better. He starts to cuddle. He has a more affectionate side, that of a, of a female. He now starts uh, really caring about art in the museum, and the girl that had passed away was an artist. She actually died in a car accident on her way to her first solo art um, showing, um, which was pretty crazy. Um, and this gentleman now... Uh, wears a bag that he refers to or a purse that he refers to as a bag so again you can see they're 
kind of taking the personality in a sense or bits and pieces of the deceased, which is pretty incredible. Um, number four is a really sad story. A 17 year old um, black male died in a drive-by shooting. He died clutching his violin case. And it went to a 47 year old white male. I mentioned the race because um, I apologize. It is a little bit racist what uh, this is accounted, but this is from the published study. Um, they never met, their families never met, but obviously these authors know the difference here. And this gentleman says, I don't know why, but I have just a desire for classical music. I now love classical music, but that doesn't make sense because I got my heart from a black man. I should like hip hop or rap. So, um, them not knowing that he was a violinist really brings a pretty good scientific approach to this in the sense that there clearly is some cellular memory that is being passed on. They think that because it was a, a black male that it shouldn't be classical music, but that's what he was all about. And he was actually a very, very good musician. Um, number five, a 19 year old female to a 29 year old female. This one's pretty crazy. This was a vegan restaurant owner, hated meat. Um, and she was uh, heterosexual. The 29 year old female is pretty crazy because the brother she had confided in the brother that she was secretly gay. Um, and she also classified herself as one of the biggest Big Mac lovers um, in the world. She was, uh, she even said that she gave McDonald's most of her money. And after the transplant, the, uh, she no longer eats meat, believe it or not. She's now fully vegan. And her brother says that she went from being secretly um, gay, in his words, to um, now being straight. And she actually, in the paper, says that she throws away all of her militant books about um, gay politics and things of that nature, which is pretty crazy because in here you're talking about almost a gender identity change or even a sexual transplant. I think what she had called it in her name was a gender transplant is what she said in her own words is what she felt. So that's pretty incredible. Now we're not talking about just having certain interests and likes, but now uh, the sexual feelings of one person, which is inc just crazy to think about that that's what your heart can do. Um, number six, a 14 year old female to a 47 year old male. Um, this one's pretty crazy. She uh, was um, right before she died, they thought that she might be anorexic, didn't like to eat. And guess what? Once he gets the heart, he no longer can eat. Thanksgiving by his friends and family was his favorite holiday. He now cannot eat and he actually uh, had to go throw up after he ate, went to the doctors. They said, no, it's fine. It's probably just a, a medication deal. So we see that one. Seven, three-year-old female to a nine-year-old male. Sadly, this um, little girl drowned in a pool. Um, and now the nine-year-old male is now terrified of the pool. Their family lives on the lake and he won't go near the lake. Um, so you can see that there. Um, a 19-year-old female to a 19-year-old female. Uh, she died, unfortunately, at a, uh, a dance um, practice. And uh, she wanted to become a nurse of some sort. And without her ever knowing, she uh, says that, you know, I think that this person wanted to be... Um, a dancer or a medical student and actually her parents find her all the time holding her heart and actually talking to her as if it was her sister um, so that is pretty crazy and so you're just seeing just in all of these cases that there are these incredible personality traits from food to the way that they feel to sexual preferences to musical tastes I mean, these are complex things that have to do with what people, you know, like as far as what they hear, what they taste, what they feel, what they think, all generating from the heart. And as we know, the first organ that is made during, um, you know, your birth as a fetus is your heart. And so I think what we're starting to learn really is that we are heart empowered, heart and centered beings. And really one of our main senses is our heart, but it's just because we can't see it, we can't feel it. We don't perceive it, but just like Tesla said, to understand the answers of the universe, you have to think in terms of frequency, vibration, and energy, and I think that's what our heart is kind of telling us. Um, second to last nine, we have a three-year-old male, the five-year-old male. 
ends up the five-year-old male uh, has an imaginary friend who he calls Timmy. Um, now, he claims it's from his favorite show, Tim Allen, on the Tool Time show, but it turns out that the kid that died was Tim. His name was Timmy. Um, not only that, he actually died falling through a window, which is pretty sad, trying to grab a Power Ranger. The five-year-old loved Power Rangers after the heart transplant, no longer likes Power Rangers, which is pretty crazy. And then last, we have a 34-year-old male to a 56-year-old male, and this one's pretty crazy. This is showing memories because this was a police officer who actually got shot in the face um, trying to stop a drug dealer. And the 56-year-old male says that uh, he consistently has flashbacks of a giant flash in front of his face, and his face gets red and warm. Not only that, um, but um, the wife says that the description matched that of like a Jesus image, someone with a white gentleman with long hair, and he said that on his own um, in a confinement uh, conversation to these guys about how he sees a flash with like a Jesus type face. So pretty incredible, um, this published paper. Um, again, it's called Changes in Heart Transplant Recipients that Parallel the Personalize Their Donors. I'll link it below. Um, just a powerful, powerful study. Um, there's also a, a girl who wrote a book um, in 1997 called The Change of Heart. She's kind of the poster child for this. Her name is Claire Sylvia. Um, she took on the personality of the gentleman who passed away before, was a 17-year-old male, um, who likes chicken and KFC, and she never did, and now she just has a consistent craving for it. So what we're trying to see is, you know, with different cases of reincarnation with children that have a memory of a past life and, are, and these heart transplants that take on personality traits of the deceased, it just goes to show that we really don't know all that much about the human brain, the human heart, the human anatomy, um, and what's going on as we start to study more and more about the electromagnetic frequency of the heart, um, how it controls our emotions, our lives. Um, it's pretty incredible. And just like electricity changed our outside world, I think once we start to really understand the heart, it's going to change our inside world. It's going to change how we interact with each other. My hope is that we start operating by love and gratitude and helpfulness and we transition away from this competitive warmongering system of of me versus you into a more collaborative loving culture that's about helping and, and working together in unison so i just felt like this had to be shared i wanted to give this study in visual context i know a lot of people don't like to read so this is kind of the audio version um take a look at it pretty powerful we are heart and power beings. Live by your heart. Remember, your emotions create your reality. We don't see things as they are. We see things as we are, and it all starts from the heart. If you like that, subscribe below, and I hope you guys can become empowered.